Thank you so much to everyone who has viewed my videos and subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel right after watching this video. Good day to my avid viewers on my YouTube channel. I would like to ask for your support to help me increase my YouTube income by watching my videos and advertisement sponsors. YouTube's minimum monthly payout is $100, and I don't reach this amount per month, so I'm asking for your help. I'll appreciate your support very much. Thank you and God bless. What are the seven trumpets of Revelation? The seven trumpets are described in Revelation chapter 8, from verse 6, up to chapter 9, verse 19, and chapter 11, verses 15 to 19. The seven trumpets are the contents of the seventh seal judgment, in that the seventh seal summons the angels who sound the trumpets, Revelation 8 verses 1 to 5. The judgments heralded by the seven trumpets will take place during the tribulation period in the end times. The first trumpet. When the first angel sounds his trumpet, the world experiences hail and fire mixed with blood, Revelation 8 verse 7. One third of the world's trees are burned up in this plague, and all the grass is consumed. This judgment bears some similarities to the seventh plague in Egypt, Exodus 9 verses 23 to 24. The second trumpet. In heaven, a second angel sounds a trumpet. The result is that something like a huge mountain, all ablaze, was thrown into the sea, Revelation 8 verse 8. A third of the sea turns to blood, a third of the ships sink, and a third of ocean life dies, verse 9. This judgment is similar in some ways to the first plague in Egypt, Exodus 7 verses 20 to 21. The third trumpet. The third trumpet judgment is like the second, except it affects the world's freshwater lakes and rivers instead of the oceans. Specifically, a great star, blazing like a torch falls from the sky and poisons a third of the water supply, Revelation 8 verse 10. This star is given the name Wormwood, and many people die, verse 11. In botany, Wormwood, Artemisia absinthium, is a shrub-like plant noted for its extreme bitterness and poisonous properties. The fourth trumpet. The fourth of the seven trumpets brings about changes in the heavens. A third of the sun was struck, a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of them turned dark. A third of the day was without light, and also a third of the night, Revelation 8 verse 12. Following the fourth trumpet judgment, John notes a special warning that comes from an eagle flying through the air. This eagle cries out with a loud voice, saying, Woe! Woe! Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, because of the trumpet blasts about to be sounded by the other three angels, Revelation 8 verse 13. For this reason, the fifth, sixth, and seventh trumpets are referred to as the three woes. The fifth trumpet. The fifth trumpet and the first woe results in a terrifying plague of demonic locusts that attack and torture the unsaved for five months, Revelation 9 verses 1 to 11. The plague begins with a star falling from heaven. This star is most likely a fallen angel, as he is given the key to the shaft of the abyss, verse 1. He opens the abyss, releasing a horde of locusts with power like that of scorpions, verse 3. The locusts do not touch the plant life of earth, rather, they head straight for those people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads, verse 4. For five months, these locusts torment people whose agony is so great that they will wish to die, but death will elude them, verse 6. The locusts are not allowed to kill anyone, only to torture them. These demonic locusts have a king, who is the angel of the abyss, Revelation 9 verse 11. In Hebrew his name is Abaddon, and in Greek it's Apollyon, meaning destroyer. The locusts themselves are described in unusual terms, they look like horses prepared for battle, verse 7. They wear something like crowns of gold, and their faces are vaguely human, verse 7. They have hair like women's hair and teeth like lion's teeth, verse 8. They have something like iron breastplates, and their wings sound like the thundering of many horses and chariots rushing into battle, verse 9. Like scorpions, they have stings in their tails, verse 10. This description has prompted many different interpretations. Is this a vision of helicopters, of barbarian warriors, of a satanically empowered army, or of actual creatures from the pit of hell? We won't know for sure until it happens. The Sixth Trumpet The Sixth Trumpet and the Second Woe involves the onslaught of another demonic horde, Revelation 9 verses 12 to 21. Once the sixth trumpet sounds, a voice from the altar of God calls for the release of the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates, verse 14. 
These four angels had been kept in captivity for just this purpose, to wreak destruction during the tribulation, verse 15. These four wicked angels lead a supernatural cavalry of thousands upon thousands to kill a third of humanity, verse 16. The riders have breastplates of fiery red, dark blue, and yellow, verse 17. Their horses have the heads of lions, and out of their mouths came fire, smoke and sulfur, and their tails were like snakes, verses 18 to 19. They kill with their mouths and with their tails. Despite the severity and horror of these plagues, the survivors on earth still refuse to repent. They continue in their idolatry, their murder, their sorcery, their sexual immorality, and their theft. Revelation 9 verses 20 to 21. Following the sixth trumpet judgment is a literary interlude. John sees an angel descend from heaven with a little scroll in his hand. A promise is given that the seventh angel is about to sound his trumpet, Revelation 10 verse 7. And John is told that he must prophesy some more, verse 11. Next comes a description of the two witnesses who will preach in Jerusalem and perform miracles before they are murdered. God will then raise them back to life and take them to heaven, Revelation 11 verses 1 to 13. The seventh trumpet. The seventh trumpet and the third woe sounds, and immediately there are loud voices in heaven saying, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Messiah, and he will reign forever and ever, Revelation 11 verse 15. The twenty-four elders say, The time has come for, destroying those who destroy the earth, verse 18. Obviously, God is about to wrap things up once and for all. At the sound of the seventh trumpet, the temple of God is opened in heaven, and within his temple was seen the ark of his covenant. And there came flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake and a severe hailstorm, verse 19. Thus end the seven trumpet judgments. All is set for the seven angels with the seven bowls of God's wrath. These angels stand inside the now open temple, ready to step forward and bring the final judgments on earth, Revelation 15. In summary, the seven trumpets of angels in the Bible are described in the book of Revelation in chapters 8, 9, and 11. They are sounded by seven angels, and they bring about a series of calamities on the earth. The first four trumpets bring about natural disasters. The first trumpet brings hail and fire, which destroys one-third of the earth's vegetation. The second trumpet brings a burning mountain that falls into the sea, killing one-third of the sea creatures. The third trumpet brings a great star that falls from heaven, poisoning one-third of the fresh water on earth. The fourth trumpet brings a plague of locusts that torments people for five months. The fifth and sixth trumpets bring judgment on humanity. The fifth trumpet brings a plague of demonic horsemen that kill one-fourth of the earth's population. The sixth trumpet brings a great earthquake, followed by a hailstorm of fire and blood. The seventh trumpet brings the end of the world. The seventh trumpet brings the sounding of the last judgment and the coming of the new heaven and the new earth. The seven trumpets are a powerful reminder of God's judgment on sin. They also point to the hope of the new creation, which will come after the end of the world the meaning of the seven trumpets. The meaning of the seven trumpets is a matter of debate among scholars. Some believe that they are literal events that will happen in the end times. Others believe that they are symbolic of spiritual events that are happening now. There is no one definitive answer to the meaning of the seven trumpets. However, they are clearly a sign of God's judgment on sin and a reminder of the hope of the new creation. The Significance of the Natural Disasters and Plagues the natural disasters and plagues that are described in the seven trumpets are a powerful reminder of the destructive power of sin. They also show the extent to which God will judge sin. The Bible teaches that sin has a corrupting effect on the world. It leads to violence, destruction, and death. The natural disasters and plagues of the seven trumpets are a manifestation of this corruption. However, the seven trumpets also show the hope of the new creation. After the judgment of sin, God will create a new heaven and a new earth, where there will be no more sin or suffering. The Judgment on Humanity The fifth and sixth trumpets bring judgment on humanity. The fifth trumpet brings a plague of demonic horsemen that kill one-fourth of the earth's population. The sixth trumpet brings a great earthquake, followed by a hailstorm of fire and blood. These judgments are a reminder of the seriousness of sin. They also show that God will not tolerate sin forever. He will eventually judge sin and bring about a new creation. The Hope of the New Creation 
The seventh trumpet brings the sounding of the last judgment, and the coming of the new heaven and the new earth. This is the ultimate hope of the Bible. It is the promise that God will one day create a perfect world, where there will be no more sin or suffering. The seven trumpets are a reminder of the need for repentance and faith. They also show the hope of the new creation. If we repent of our sins and trust in Jesus Christ, we will be saved from the judgment of God and we will inherit the new creation. Inyong hanapin ng Panginoon, habang siya'y matatagpuan, tumawag kayo sa Kanya, habang siya'y malapit. Lisani ng masama, ang Kanyang lakad, at ng liko, ang Kanyang mga pag-iisip, at manumbalik siya sa Panginoon, at Kanyang kaawan siya, at sa aming Diyos, sapagkat siya'y magpapatawad ng sagana. Isayas 55, 6-7 Please remember, to click the subscribe button. Located at the lower right corner of your screen, if you liked and enjoyed this video. I hope you will also watch my other uploaded videos, and I'll see you again in my next new video.